Well, I've been up, you know, for a while here. No, not this, Trish. I, I, we, we had an agreement today. Everything was quiet. It was quiet. Uh, anyway, here's one for you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Amen. Amen. Greetings in the name of the Most High. Well, you know, I don't know how long my voice will hold up today, but today is probably the best day so far in this ongoing, I don't even know what you call it, flu, pneumonia at this point, um, walking pneumonia, uh, whatever, but I seem to be coming out of it, you know, little by little, but boy, it fights on the way out. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, a couple of days more at this level than a couple of days more at that level. I'm still, you know, I'm still occluded <laughs> my, um, my voice, but I mean, you know, you can see I'm a lot better. I was determined to come out of this. The alternative is it just kills you, right? Okay. Um, and I, that, that almost happened a couple times with the flu. Um, for the sake of his great name, the Lord will not reject his people because the Lord was pleased to make you his own. And it kind of goes along with the verses like, you know, God, you know, start something. He will finish what he's begun in you. He's not abandoned you just because you feel lonely, just because you feel like life has passed you by, like uh, you don't have much else, um, you know, not, not much going on, um, and or the good old days, you know, are gone, and now it's this um, slow descent into death. I, that That's just not the way to look at it. I mean, we can indulge that if you like. But what happens is... I guess this is going to happen. But what happens is... um, Yeah. We become that person cascading and I mean you do get weak you do get wrinkled things aren't working like they were I mean it is you know a choice to be in a vessel but I'm not my vessel I'm me that I'm contained within this vessel and you know that's just the only way I can look at it because um I've seen them go both ways. And when you get this attitude of speaking these things over yourself, like, oh, I'm old. I'm, you know, I can't do it. Or I'm this or I'm that or getting angry with it all. I see these guys, you know, they get, they end up going quicker. I see a lot of these people with, um, you know, the attitude of, well, what can I do? How can I help? How can I serve, Lord? How can I put me somewhere? And um, we've named a couple things here you can get involved in. I mean, you know, it, it. it's just, I know there's a big temptation to just focus on self in this country, especially. Um, uh, but it's not true that you're alone. But, you you know, one of the Psalms says, turn to me and be gracious to me, Lord, for I am lonely and afflicted. I am lonely and afflicted. Be gracious to me, Lord. Comfort me. And I find that the comfort of the Lord, you know, it, it's, you just got to get used to this idea that, you know, what we live in is a situation where we have, so many um, people have these programmed ideas about what life should be like. And when it doesn't meet that expectation, they start becoming 
you, you know, depressed and, and, and upset. A lot of that happens on social media. Um, I think a good deal of that happened to my daughter on social media. She felt like a freak eventually because she, she was not, um, you know, she was, she had, you know, social phobias and wasn't comfortable and was uncomfortable and, and, and agitated and upset and focused within on herself a lot of the time in trying to solve these things that had happened to her. Um, I think she was generally a pretty happy person, you know. I think these pills maybe have gotten the better of her, but it, it, it the 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 um the battle with it herself she she did she couldn't win because it just kept getting worse every year. She became more of a recluse, more unable to to even have the slight, like a meal with someone would be impossible. Now I understand that perfectly. Having I mean it's almost like we have she and I had a very similar makeup in a way. And I guess the, the, the two ways of looking at it. One, God doesn't make mistakes. There's a reason you're that way. Or two, I'm a freak. I can't let people see me. You know, I can't, I can't be anywhere because I'm unacceptable. I mean, I should have been dead already. That way everyone could go on with their nice lives. Do you know that, you know, the sad thing about that kind of thinking is the lives that uh, go on out there are corrupt. 